Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. And we are here in Master Wishes Island, but we're going to be going to the island where the androids are supposedly supposed to be landing. So yeah, uh, just go right over to this magical star right here, which tells you where the island is. Basically, just tells you where your objective is. And we're right here where all our friends are, so... Uh, I did not talk to Krill, I want to talk to Bulma. I hope you don't think I'm nuts for asking, but what's the deal with the baby, Bulma? Is he your son, Yamcha? He's not my kid. Well, if you think that's a shock, just wait until uh, wait until she tells you who the real father is. Who the father really is. I bet it's Vegeta, the right, Trunks? And, uh, again, I, I can't express this enough, how much I love they stuck to the dialogue in the show. You know, that's pretty much exactly how it goes. So, I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, so anyway, um, Boma says, now who told you that, Goku? And, uh, uh, okay, yeah, she keeps on talking. She says, I was trying to keep it a secret. I was going to surprise you guys. And now everybody's like, uh, you know, wondering how did Goku know? And in the, in the show, you know, Goku's like, oh, it was, it was just a lucky guess, you know, but in the game, it's kind of difficult to express, you know, that kind of emotion and things like that into, you know, a game like this that came out, you know, probably 10 years ago, so. But anyway, it's a good game nonetheless. He's like, but you, but you guess his name too, you know, like, you know. Then he says, maybe I'm psychic. So yeah. Anyway, who would have guessed Boma and Vegeta? Um. So yeah. And while you're on the subject, where is Vegeta? I have no clue. I really haven't seen him much around lately. I know he was training to come here. Uh, but with the baby and all, I guess I must have lost track of him. He'll show up. He wouldn't miss a fight. So yeah, basically, uh, he's Vegeta is training also. Um, so yeah, basically, I think we gotta talk to everybody before the androids are gonna show up. Hey, Yajirobe, did you come out to help us with the androids? No way. I just brought Sensu beans from Corin. So how much did he give us? Just one. I just just one Sensu bean. That sucks. Come on, Yajirobe, you gotta step your game up. And all right, let's see. Tin says, don't you think this is it's a bit strange? It's already after 10 o'clock and there isn't even a sign of these androids. He said that quote unquote. And this is where Yamcha starts getting all skeptical and he says, I can't believe we listen to that guy. Androids, that's a good one. Don't be so literal. It's only 10.17. I wouldn't jump the gun just yet. Sorry to disappoint you, Bomb. Sorry to disappoint you, Bomb, but those androids just aren't coming. And of course, explosions happen and yeah. If you guys noticed, uh, Goku was actually supposed to die from a virus, but as you can see, he's alive and well. Um, but, you know, we'll figure out what's going to happen with that later. So, Pickle's like, you guys, it's the androids, I see them. I did too, but where did they go? So, yeah, you can't sense their power levels because they're androids and they're robots and they don't have, you know, energy levels. They have, like, an infinite amount of, amount of energy. Uh, so, yeah, let's go. They're gonna go have to. They're gonna go find them the old-fashioned way. So that's what we're gonna do. And Yajirobe is gonna run away like a little wuss. And we're gonna go ahead and go find find the androids. Hopefully, I don't remember how to do this. Hopefully, I, I can just figure this out relatively quickly. Let's see. We got a map. All right. Pretty sure we. It's pretty linear. So yeah, it's linear. Yamcha, I found them. It's funny because I. I, I've played this game so many times before, but, you know, it's been a while since I have played them. But we found Yamcha. Yamcha got messed up by the androids, so yeah. Oh no, Yamcha. And everybody shows up, and everybody sees Yamcha, and in the show, they put, like, a hole through his chest. So yeah, Krillin, listen, there's still a chance to save him. Take him back to Bulma and give him a sense of being go as fast as you can. I'm on it. So, yeah, he's going to go ahead and take them. And Piccolo says, so these are the androids. Kind of funny looking if you ask me. And this is Android 20, who is also Dr. Jiro. He changed himself into an android. So, yeah. Anyway, that that's just a long story short. I'm not going to go into detail about Dr. Jiro. So, anyway, he says, well, now I find it surprising that you should know that we're androids. Of course, I find it even more surprising that you have anticipated our arrival on this island. Tell me, how did you know we would come? If you're so tough, why don't you make us very well? And yeah, of course, Goku is going to be the good Samaritan here and try to, uh, you know, ask them to bring the fight somewhere else so that they don't 
harm innocent lives. There's a lot of dialogue in this game, so yeah, because the the Dragon Ball Z story is very complex, and at some in some points of the series, actually in most points of the series. So this game, you know, it's half dialogue, half gameplay. So yeah, I agree. It is way too crowded here. Too many people can get hurt. In, in a way, no wait, too many people can get in a way, I will see that they do not. And then he starts freaking destroying, you know, this city, which sucks, because that's not how, that's not what Goku had in mind, so yeah. Goku's gonna go ahead and lead them to uh, another place. Um, Tien just, you know, tripped out because he knew that his name was Goku. Um, but the thing is, they're androids and they have all the data they need on Goku and things like that, because... Um, you know, because Dr. Jiro was, uh, Dr. Jiro created androids to kill Goku and he tried to get all, he went and got all the information he needed, um, you know, about every Z warrior pretty much. So yeah, in the deep, some things of space, I didn't read it there. Here's, uh, Vegeta who was training in space and he says, until Kakarot came into the picture, I was the greatest Saiyan alive. Kakarot's success is like a demon in my head. How he can be a super saiyan when I, the prince of all saiyans, am not. When I was a child, my father told me this, uh, told me stories of the legendary super saiyan. A warrior, blah, 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 and what can defeat him. Yeah, so... What happened with Goku as a kid, they classified him as a low-class warrior, as a low-class saiyan, so they sent him to another planet. But Vegeta was, um, you know, classified as a high, you know, uh, you know, an elite Saiyan. So that's why he's like pissed off that, you know, are we gonna play as Vegeta now? Oh, this is, yeah, yeah, we do play as Vegeta now, I think. For a little bit. We're gonna be able to use him. Um, so he's just pissed off that he can't become a Super Saiyan, you know? So. And uh, he gets so pissed off uh, that he becomes a Super Saiyan. Now, it doesn't really exactly happen like that in the show. What happens is that he, uh, um, you know, he has to protect himself, and he's training, and he can't become a Super Saiyan, but, you know, out of his anger, you know, this, they should, they just showed him standing around doing nothing, but in the show, you know, he's protecting him, his ship in an asteroid, uh, in a meteor shower, and, uh, you know, he, he succeeds in protecting his ship and, and, and things like that, but, you know, um, after that is when he gets all pissed off and then screams at the sky and uh, becomes a Super Saiyan. So yeah. So he's pretty much a beast now. This power, this power is unbelievable. Super Saiyan is a special form that gives you a temporary increase in power. You uh, use the L button to select a Super Saiyan form icon. Press the B button to activate it. Press the B button again. Will allow you to revert to your normal form. Super Saiyan form can only be activated when the yellow triangle, triangle on the left on the side of your status bar is full Super Saiyan form lasts for a limited amount of time so use it wisely I I understand why they put it as a limited amount of time in the game you know because in the show you can't remain a Super Saiyan forever so I, I thought it was good that they did that I would like to have you know been a Super Saiyan for you know a little bit longer but you know it, it makes sense that they made it like that so he has to go back to Earth because he knows that the androids are coming and obviously he's gonna go and uh, help them out um, not really because he wants to help them out, just because he wants to prove his strength. So yeah, those androids must be here by now. I doubt if Kakarot and the others gave them the introduction they deserve. So, journal updated. What are we going to have to do here? Vegeta's level 18. Meet up with the others in the southern continent. Train with Master Roshi. Oh, let's go to Master Roshi's too, might as well. So, here's the Super Saiyan thing. Big Bang attack, whatever. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're, are we in Capsule Corp? I think we are in Capsule Corp. Yeah, after the Namek's left. If you happen to meet any Namek's in your travels, please tell them to come back here. We're organizing a, a trip to new Namek so they can re be reunited with the same. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's another side quest. I don't think I'm going to do that side quest, but... You know, yeah. Oh, wait, no, we got to fly. Yeah. Let's go to Master Roshi's first. I'm going to fix my mic because, um... Yeah, okay. My ear was, like, very uncomfortable, but... Yeah, let's go to Master Roshi's real quick, because I'm pretty sure Vegeta can learn a new trick also, which will be cool. Wow, really? Master Roshi's is, like, right behind Goku, and I flew... It's right behind Goku's house, and I flew, like, in a complete circle, freaking trying to find it. 
Okay, so he's gonna teach us something. The two hand smash technique. I don't think I've ever gotten this one in any of my other playthroughs with for Vegeta. Oh, I've gotten that. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay, so let's go fly to the island. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know do some fighting with against the androids. And uh, you know, and and you know, end this episode because it has been going on for over or almost 12 minutes now. So. Yeah, so the fight is going on, and um, basically they're just talking about nonsense. You know, they talk about how, um, how, you know, like what I told you guys before, basically how you know they know all their names, all their techniques, all that like that, all of that good stuff. So yeah, I'm curious. Cough. Now, if you're wondering, Goku is coughing because he's starting to get sick, as if you remember in the. In the la in a couple episodes ago, I think it was Trunks did say that he was going to get sick. You know, it just happened a lot later. You know, than uh, than predicted. Now, they didn't uh, like I said before. They recorded all of their fights and things like that. Um, you know, just to gain up information. Doctor Zero, I mean, he he you know he uh, studied them and had like a little like insect-sized camera following them around. Um, but he didn't you know let that little thing follow Goku into space to Namek when he fought Frieza, so he didn't know that he became a Super Saiyan. Um, but the thing is, Goku is sick, so he's probably not even going to beat um, Android 19, so yeah. I think... I think we have to fight him as Goku, so yeah. Oh, never mind. We have to get there as Vegeta. Man, I, ha I really... I gotta remember it better. Cause I've I've played this game a lot, and I you know it's upsetting me that I'm forgetting you know the basic. Um, can I go this way? Wow. Let's see what's over here. Let's keep going. Oh, just uh, just the power capsule. I mean a golden capsule. My bad. Oh, they're back. Stupid enemies. If I was a Super Saiyan, they'd be done. But I want to save that. I think, I mean, should I end the episode here? I don't even know. Where am I? Are there any save things? No, not yet. Is there a save thing here? Because if there is, I'll save it and I'll, you know, do this in the next episode. Because this is very long. Alright, we're probably not going the way we're supposed to. I'm just looking for a save thing. Maybe here. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get to the other guys. And fight the androids. Probably with Vegeta in the next episode. Um, I bet we can't even switch characters. Yeah, we can't. Alright. So yeah, we're going to do all that good stuff in the next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys later. Peace.